Hey guys, welcome to or welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm going to show you how to do a screen replacement on an Asus Zenfone 3 Max. Here are the tools that you'll need. A metal spudger, a plastic spudger, some tweezers, a Phillips screwdriver, a flathead screwdriver, and you'll also want to use a razor blade. First we're going to turn the phone off and pop out the SIM tray. Once you've taken the SIM tray out, you'll want to take your razor blade and work your way in on both sides of the LCD to release the plastic clips that are holding the metal frame in. So once you've got the two sides done, you'll want to go into the top corners and work your razor blade into there to pop those out as well. Eventually you'll be able to pull the whole plastic LCD frame with motherboard out. We're going to take the plastic spudger to disconnect the battery and we're taking our Phillips screwdriver to take out the three Phillips screws that are holding down the upper plastic plates. So then we're going to take our same screwdriver and go down to the lower plastic plate that is holding the speaker in. There there will be five screws that you'll want to take out. So once you've got all the screws out of the plates, you can start taking them off. The top one is just clipped in with a little bit of adhesive and a clip, and the bottom one you'll just want to take the metal spudger in there and kind of pry from right below the battery. So we're going to grab our plastic spudger and slowly work our way underneath our side volume and power buttons. It is adhered onto the LCD frame, and we're also going to pull away the adhesive and protective covering that is covering your battery and some connections on the motherboard. So they have these little tabs here for taking the battery out, but of course they always break and never work. So I just go in very, very carefully with the metal spudger. This adhesive isn't as strong as some of the other phones adhesive, so it's not as difficult. I just advise being very careful using the metal on the battery. We're going to grab our plastic spudger and flip the little black clip up on the digitizer connector at the bottom of the charge port here. And you're just going to carefully slide it out. And then we're going to take the same plastic spudger and work our way underneath the charge port as it is adhered down onto the plastic frame. Scooch the little LCD digitizer ribbon out of the way and just start peeling up the adhered charge port ribbon. And now we're going to take our Phillips screwdriver and there are three screws holding the motherboard down. Just take those out. Take the plastic spudger and disconnect your LCD ribbon. So just gently pull out the ribbon from the motherboard. And now we can start slowly working the motherboard out. So it is adhered down and held down by a clip on the top and on the bottom of the motherboard. So I suggest using a plastic spudger to just gently work your way in there to release the adhesive. It's easiest to do it right from the top there, as the clip is a little smaller on the top area. So once you've worked it out a bit, you can actually pull the motherboard out from the top. So now we're going to grab the other screen and we're going to start transferring the little rubber housings for the microphones. Now usually you would want to switch out the speakers as well, but the speaker was damaged and I actually had to replace it anyways, so there's already a new one in there. So now we're going to take the motherboard and we're going to start putting it into place. I like to start with the charge port area and then I want to take the motherboard at the top and clip it in. You'll want to take the bottom of the motherboard and slide it into the metal clip that would be right at the tip of the battery. And once you've got that into place, you can push on the top where the second clip is. We can start putting in the three Phillips screws that are holding down the motherboard. So now we're going to move on to the side power and volume buttons. You're going to want to put a strip of adhesive there in order to keep them in place. And once that's in place, you can test the buttons, make sure that they click properly. And now we're going to start connecting the connections. So we're going to insert the LCD digitizer connection into the connector on the motherboard and clip the little black clip down. We're going to grab this small rubber housing that goes over the microphone and we're going to take the plastic plate and put it back over top of the motherboard and insert the three 
Phillips screws. So now we're going to go down to the bottom near the charge port and slide in the digitizer cable. Once that's connected and clipped in, we can take our loudspeaker plate and we can put it over top of the charge port and we can put in the five Phillips screws. So once we've got all the screws secured, we're going to take the ribbon for the charge port and we're going to just push it onto the adhesive. So now we can grab the battery and slide it into place, clip the connection into the connection on the motherboard, and slide the little radio antenna wire into its housing. So now we're going to take the metal back housing frame and we're just going to clip it onto the LCD. We're going to slide the SIM tray back in, and there you go, it's done. Thanks again for watching, like and subscribe, feel free to ask questions in the comments, I will do my best to respond to them, and yeah, watch some more of my vids, follow me on Instagram, APRYAG.